Labelling charts is useful if the reader needs to know the exact value for each point. We can position labels left, right, above, below, or centered. However, centering line chart labels typically looks messy. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can make them more stylish. Here I have a regular line chart. First thing I want to do is add the data labels and I want them centered. Next, I need to format each series data label. So selecting the labels just with one left click, I'm going to press Ctrl-1 to open the Format Data Labels pane. Here I want the paint bucket, and I'm going to set the fill to solid, and I want it white, that way it hides the line behind the label. And we want to format the text. It's a good idea to match the text color to that of the line. Now this is the line color, but notice with the font for the text, it looks a shade lighter. So you can always go one shade darker for your text. It will help the text be more readable, but the reader won't actually be able to distinguish that it's a different shade to the line. Let's rinse and repeat for the orange series. Again, we want solid fill in white. And for the text, we want it to be orange and we're going to go one shade darker than the line. Now that we have our data labeled, we don't need this vertical axis. So I've just selected it and I press the delete key. We also don't need the grid lines. They're just adding noise. We have the labels and that's enough. So again, left click to select and press delete to remove them. Now I have a legend, but it's at the bottom. And with line charts, it's nice to have those lines labeled at the end. It just makes it quicker and easier for our reader. So we're going to remove the legend I'm going to move the chart body over to the left a little bit to allow space for my legend. I'm going to create this manually using text boxes. So in the shapes, I want text box. It's actually down here in the basic shapes, but I use it regularly. So it's up here in my recently used shapes. It's going to left click and drag to draw it on. So this is the South series and I want to format my font to match the line. So let's choose the blue one shade darker. And the text box generally comes in with a border and fill. So let's just make sure that isn't there. So I want no fill and no outline. Now, if my chart resizes, my text box isn't going to cover the border or anything like that because it has no fill. So I just want to copy it. So I'm going to hold down control. My mouse cursor changes to show the plus symbol. I'm going to left click and drag and hold shift at the same time. That keeps it aligned to the text box above. And let's just change this to north. And again, let's format the font to match the line. And there we have it. Our line chart with our labels centered across the line and we've labeled each of the lines. Now, an alternative to labeling each point in the line is just to label the first and last points. And to do that, you simply left click once and then left click again to select each point's data label and then press the delete key. Rinse and repeat for each point after that. It's a little bit of manual work, but once it's set up, it's done. And depending on the effect that you want and how important seeing the value of each point is, you might find that the first and last points are adequate. I hope you can make use of this technique. If you like this video, please give it the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more. Thanks for watching.